I confirmed yesterday this new season will be a season of abundance. The reason why is you need to fortify your finances and you need to fortify your marriage because getting married on paper, so to speak, is going to be evidence and it's going to open doors for you, but it's not going to heal you both. So the first thing I'm saying is look at your kingdom spouse the way they are. Weak and without the strength to really do much for the kingdom of heaven. We're two years behind and nothing's going to change that except for doing it. So... <clears throat> Mary movies over here. And you're never going to know why and you won't gain the experience you need unless you're actually walking with Jesus. What you don't want, and I repeat, you do not want this. You do not want this. So what we are doing right now is we are simply, as the kingdom spouses, Drawing strength from one another. And each of my prophets helps the other because the main objective right now is keep you spiritually alive. The he may have mercy upon you and cause you to return to your own land. But if you say, We will not dwell in this land, neither obey the voice of the Lord your God, saying, No, but we will go into the land of Egypt where we shall see no war, nor hear the sound of the trumpet, nor have hunger of bread. So those are your two choices, as always, choose life. So what I'm training my people to do in your importance, when you are walking in the spirit, And I'll use me and Mary's situation as an example. My wife can usually see the natural pretty well, like most people. In the spirit, she gets everything backwards. So you have to see that you are prodigal unwittingly. Because I spent a lot of time picking apart Mary's fruit and her actions. Because the kingdom of heaven was sprung upon everybody and your prodigal falls into the same category, works for the devil. So the prodigal, you have to unlearn what you never took the time to learn. <clears throat> but at least you have my spirit. So that's going to be important because then you're going to stay away from what you don't want, which is to be behind closed doors with a lukewarm Christian that has a demon. The spiritual impacts are going to be enormous to you. Because in standard Christian teachings, <clears throat> I would normally have you, yeah, just love them. Don't listen to anything they say. But you two have to learn to work together, first of all. That bond has to be there. And for you to trust each other, you have to take each other's counsel. Many of you have been in situations where I've spoken through your spouse and, whoa. And it just stops you in your tracks. Not sure if I like what that person just said. But it's evidence that I'm speaking to you. So using Mary for an example, I was supposed to play soccer. And whenever I take counsel from my wife, which I try to do so that we can work together, I'm always leery because of the pre-mentioned reasons. And I go very, very slow. 
So don't be afraid to go very, very slow right now. As far as what you're doing in this season, which my king of spouses, you are waiting for special surprises, blessings. And of course, your spouse is at the end of their strength and they will not receive any strength until they return back to you. <clears throat> For if you forgive others their trespasses, their reckless and willful sins, their reckless and willful sins, their reckless and willful sins, and you say, Lord, you said they did it unwittingly, they have free will. And it's been long enough to where they understand what they're doing. So I cannot reward that. Especially when our mantra is, our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But if you do not forgive others, nurturing your hurt and anger with the result that it interferes with your relationship with God, then your father will not forgive your trespasses. Everybody say, ooh. So many of my prodigals haven't understood why they've been receiving such harsh treatment from me. Mainly, okay, then you're going to reap what you sowed. What the church doesn't teach is that judgment is constant. That's across the earth. That is the structure of the kingdom of heaven. So you need to first understand that. To keep yourself spiritually alive, <clears throat> and why I have my people that help with this, this is the way. If you're delivering my words at the perfect moment, and we confirm that in scripture, in Proverbs, that has an entirely different impact than empty words that are coming from your thoughts. Always remember the atmosphere that you're in should not match your mood. You should instantly get into a better mood when you are drawing close to me. Something should change in your heart and your thoughts. If you're behind closed doors with a lukewarm Christian that has a demon, you won't feel light in that person. But if you are ministering my words a little bit of my spirit in your prodigal is going to start to emerge and you'll start to feel light. If you were wise and you didn't separate, <clears throat> my heavenly father told Mary, don't separate. That was three years ago. And to teach you not to separate. <clears throat> and many of you did not look at it through my eyes, which was, no, you guys are married. Wife, conduct yourself like a married woman. Husband, conduct yourself like a married man. And prodigals, I'm not accepting that from God. <clears throat> we just confirm that. And then time goes by and you store up judgment and then you are taken into the courts of heaven. Mary's experienced all of this. <clears throat> the reason why this is the last day and you are establishing your life on the rock and I am teaching you the things you will need to know in order to thrive and be happy in this day and age. And what it came down to is the kingdom marriages on such a mass scale <clears throat> and nobody 
had sound-minded Christian training for the most part. Stepping back and letting you learn. <clears throat> and a good father does that, but he does not want to see his children hurt. There should be nothing in you that is wishing anything other than me working through and for and on your prodigal. And then, of course, I chose you to do it. And you learned at a higher level. So remember, you're two years uh, more experienced with a certification of being a follower of Jesus. Whereas your prodigal basically got let out of a torturous POW camp and is weak, malnourished, and these things are going to be new to them, though they have the basic foundation at least. <clears throat> A kingdom built on truth and love, and there aren't many of us. I keep telling people that. So many of you have gotten to skirmishes with lukewarm Christians and you understand, okay. What they're preaching seems to be more clean and more what I'm used to from God. And you're not understanding God's mood right now. We don't like lukewarm Christians. So your prodigal went from demons in the world to demons in the church. As scripture said would happen. It will flock to ear ticklers is what the scripture says. The truth is standing before you. I love you.